Moon 5. Inspire. Imagine. Create. place I was born was in India. My father was working there as a part of the Indian Civil Service in the administration and he was there for 35 years having come from Roscommon and so that was lovely uh, connection sort of two ends of the earth. Well I started printmaking quite late. I had already uh, had a bit of a career uh, uh, in painting. I had studied in Paris after university. I went and I trained as a, a cubist painter in the quite well-known studio system uh, run by Andre Lot L O H with a hat T E funny name. And my mother uh, said, "Oh no, 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 art schools are more immoral places." So I went to Trinity instead, and I really enjoyed the course I was studying. Uh, French and Spanish language and literature. And then uh, I said, now it's my turn to do what I want. And that's how I came to go to Paris. The system was that you came early in the morning on a Monday and you chose a, an easel, which were put in a sort of circle with the rays of the sun. So there would be about, the uh, easels would be three deep and they'd all be at a different angle. Uh, and he would sit just with one easel and give a commentary and then work his way around the room. And um, it was such an interesting process that quite a lot of people would pay just to come on Fridays to listen to his comments on how you make a picture. Went from painting to printmaking because I suddenly uh, needed to have a full-time job. My uh, husband was working in IT and he was made redundant and I was teaching part-time in Dunleary. That was it, I, I loved it. And as well as that, um, you know, if you're at home and you want to just go and paint, there's always some washing to do or somebody needs you or whatever. But if you're doing print, you have to be in a studio away from home. So that gave me an extra bit of freedom. I uh, do a lot of drawing uh, in preparation for what I want to uh, actually make into an etching. Etching is such a slow process. You need to know what you want as an end product. It'll turn out different, but uh, it's the idea that it develops and sort of, um, it's almost like at the nine months of a child, you, you incubate your ideas and uh, that is part of the process. And then I accumulate drawings and go back to them and say, yeah, I could do something else with that. And uh, printmaking is really a, a wonderful first step because all you have to do to sort of understand what it's about is to ink your hands and put them on paper and you've got an image. You're going right back to the thousands of years BC when people did that in caves. So you're in the tradition, you're making an image and then you go from that, you can uh, take uh, a set of grasses and put them down and roll uh, some ink over them and then place them on paper. Put your printing paper underneath and uh, a weight on top and smooth them and take them all off and you've got a multiple image. So you suddenly are making paintings. It's interesting about this lockdown because it has uh, got people to think of other things that they might do to keep them from getting depressed. And certainly making is a terribly important thing. Even if you only make little figures in flour and water, uh, you're suddenly moving away from yourself and thinking of something that is telling a story almost uh, outside your own life. So you're not looking inwards so much. So I think a lot of people have started uh, things like embroidery, but they don't think 
that they're able to make art. But as I was saying, it's quite simple to get started. And once you do, your really curiosity takes over. And that means that your brain is working outside of yourself. So it's enormously therapeutic for people who uh, really um, maybe aren't interested in reading a lot and then the television gets too much and they get depressed because it's just them and a, and a square that you look at. But I think lots of people are beginning to explore music and uh, painting and drawing and maybe even making sculpture because they're things with your hands. And uh, the, the basis of my teaching it goes back to Aristotle who said, there's nothing in the mind that is not first in the senses. This video was brought to you by Creative Ireland, Local Enterprise Office Galway, the IDA West Region and Galway County Council. Moon 5. Inspire. Imagine. Create.